Did Dean Blundell make inappropriate sexual comments about children? Today we're going to take a look. Now before I begin, I want to point out that this information is being provided for public interest only. I think this information is important, and I'm not providing it to docs or to get anyone hurt. That being said, please don't harass, threaten, or stalk this person. Thanks. Just wanted to get that out of the way. So let's begin. First of all, who is Dean Blundell? Dean Blundell is a disgraced radio host that was fired in 2014 for making homophobic comments. And these homophobic comments actually led to a mistrial. Now, Dean Blundell came back into the spotlight earlier this year after he helped Docs give Sango donors. These were people that donated money to the trucker convoy. And he helped Docs them by spreading hacked information on his website as well as on Twitter. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Dean Blundell has made fun of dead people. He's advocated for violence against women, and he's known for spreading conspiracy theories and fake news. Now, if that's not bad enough, there's something else you may not know about Dean Blundell, and that is that he has a history of making sexual comments about children. It's been covered by blogger Toronto Mike, as well as by Toronto outlet CP24. What happened here? Well, I can't repeat exactly what he said, but what I will say is that he made some seriously inappropriate comments involving children, Justin Bieber, and incest. And it was so bad that the Canadian Broadcasting Standards Council had to get involved. For some quick background, the Canadian Broadcasting Standards Council, or the CBSC, is an organization that deals with complaints for television or the radio. And the good thing about this organization is all their decisions are made public. Now, for Dean Blundell, he's actually had quite a few run-ins with this organization. Now, I want to go back to a decision from 2010, and I'm going to quote them directly. During the course of the Dean Blundell show of October 20th, 2009, there were gratuitous and unnecessary sexual comments made with reference to children. Those comments violated Clause 8B of the Code, which prohibits the sexualization of children in programming. So there you have it. Dean Blundell does have a history of making inappropriate sexual comments towards children. Fortunately for him, he wasn't fired. I believe that he should have been fired right then and right there for what he said. But it took them a few years to catch up with him. Eventually, he was fired, and he had a few gigs after that. But as it stands right now, he's basically irrelevant. But he does pop in every now and again. And when he does come back, you know exactly who this person is.